All right, now that I almost broke my camera fighting an ant about this big, we can start the video. Okay, so hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am a nurse. I'm a registered nurse. Um, I work in critical care. And I have been for about four and a half years now, yep, getting up to that five year mark. And I started travel nursing about two years ago. Please subscribe, hit that button, turn on the bell, and stay tuned because I have a lot to talk about. We've got some catching up to do. It's just been crazy since I moved out here to Hawaii. Oh no. Okay guys, so I'm trying to make this video. First the ant tried to eat me and I almost broke my camera. And now there's more drilling, so. You know, I'm just trying to, to decide if I should continue on right now. I think I will. Please excuse the drilling in the background. My current place is being renovated, so we'll just deal with it because, for those of you who don't know, I'm in Hawaii now. I'm gonna try to not make this video super duper long. It's been really busy since I got out here, even before I got out here. I'm gonna rewind a little bit and really take you guys back to right before I came to Hawaii. So I didn't really tell people that I was trying to come out here to Hawaii. Didn't want to jinx it. Only close friends knew. So I applied for this position May 5th to be exact because it was Cinco de Mayo. So fast forward to June. I took one travel assignment to Arizona where my Apple Watch was actually stolen from my hotel room. Yay! It's okay though because it was returned magically while I was at work. Anyway, really got off topic there. I also made a video from that very hotel room talking about travel nurse housing. Put a little link up here so you can click it from this video if you haven't watched it. But yeah, so I took the assignment in Arizona and actually got the call for this Hawaii nursing assignment at work. So I saw the 808 area code and I was like, it's Hawaii! And it ended up being interviewed on the spot. So immediately the nurse manager asked, you know, can you talk? And I'm at work. So I'm like, not really, but um, I can call you back when I go on break. So I went on break and there was this like four hour time difference from Arizona to Hawaii. So I ended up doing the interview right there on my break in the break room at the hospital in Arizona and got off for the job on the spot. So I was given the tentative start date of July 17th. You know, basically I had less than a month to get ready for this assignment. Gotta get this paperwork, these modules, all the standard stuff you do on a travel assignment. Um, fast. So after I got back to Atlanta, I had just signed on with this child nursing company specifically. So I had to do all their modules and all their standard stuff. So it was busy guys. It was a busy, busy two weeks. <laughs> Well, three weeks before I take this assignment. I was actually flying out to Hawaii on the 9th. I'm going to just insert that in there. So, I got back to Atlanta from my travel nurse assignment like end of June. July 1st, I did all the modules. Now all I have left to do is get my immunizations, physical, you know, all the standard stuff with starting the assignment. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my last video, how to get started as a travel nurse and kind of all the paperwork and all the details that go along with it and kind of some things you should know before you go on assignment so if you haven't watched that yet click the link july 2nd i hiked to lula falls it was beautiful amazing and like july 3rd and 4th I pretty much worked because i am still prn at my home hospital so i'm required to work a certain number of days per month so i wanted to go ahead and knock that out and on the 5th i went to essence festival Probably would have been smart to record this later, but I want to give you guys like the real. Like this is my this is my life right now. I was going to Essence Festival the fifth through the eighth. Um, probably insert some footage right about now. It was amazing. There's so many vendors. Love the food. I love New Orleans. This is my first time going to New Orleans, guys. Yeah, I know. I've been out of the country, but haven't been to New Orleans yet. So this is like a really big deal for me, and that's why I could not cancel this trip, even though I knew I had to be in Hawaii on the ninth. So I was in New Orleans for Essence Festival, July 5th through the 8th. So I got back to Atlanta like early on the 8th and I packed all my things for Hawaii in one day. Um, just took one bag, but I pretty much packed, went to sleep, woke up and was on my way to Hawaii. <laughs> Woo, that was a lot. I probably won't do that again. But anyway, so went through the airport, you know, got to the gate and it hit me like, guys, I'm going to Hawaii for my travel assignment. Like it was, Kind of hit me all right there at the gate. Before then, you know, I'd been moving so much between Essence and like hiking to Lula and working like that I hadn't really set in that I'm going to be in Hawaii alone. No, I don't know anyone out there. No, I didn't have a travel buddy friend. Um, and yeah, actually, I didn't have transportation figured out. I only had my Airbnb and I only had it for the first month. I'll be living out here for three months, you know. So I could have easily, I guess, um, got my housing for the next three months, but... I like to live month to month, especially when I do some contracts just to explore the city. Say I don't like that area or location, I'm not like trapped for the next 
two other months have to be here. So um, I got on the plane. It was about a nine hour flight. I watched all of Stranger Things. It had just came out on the 4th of July and I cried like a baby on the last episode. So I got to Hawaii and I tried to rent a car, you know, just for the first week till I get settled in because um, I had to go to board of nursing pretty much the next day. Yeah, I got there on the 9th, needed to go to board of nursing on the 10th. Right. So I tried to rent a car and turns out that the cars were all sold out, or at least the ones at Honolulu Airport where I was on the day of, they were sold out. So I was like, great, wonderful. So luckily, Enterprise, that was located off-site, had some cars available. I just kind of booked online on my phone real quick and took the shuttle over to Enterprise. Got my car, drove out to my Airbnb, took in the beautiful scenery, Hawaii is amazing. I probably was a little delirious because of the six hour time difference that I just came from. So I got to the Airbnb, met the host, they were great, awesome. And guys, I just chilled. <laughs> I chilled that day, went to sleep, and that was pretty much my first day in Hawaii. So fast forward to my best friend Anissa coming into town and us exploring for an entire week. We did Mermaid Cave, which took three attempts for us to get down there. But we did Mermaid Cave, you know, Sky Waikiki, um, Makapu'u, Tide Pools. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll do it again, but it was great. We also have the Sunflower Farm. Um, it's located in Waianae. Put the link below. Went to the Sunflower Field Farm. It was beautiful. You know, took a. We did a little introduction about sunflowers where we got to pick a little sunflower off a real sunflower. It's pretty cool. And that was Sunflower Field. We did visit the Shaved Ice um, shop in North Shore, where we also went to Haliva Joe's and then Three Tables Beach to end the day. We also visit Manoa Falls, which is beautiful. A whole lot of other stuff, guys. Long story short, I've been doing a little bit of everything since I got here. So let's talk about day two when I went to the Board of Nursing. So for those who don't know, Hawaii is a walkover state. Um, I'll probably go in depth, depth detail about that in a separate video because there's a lot of things you should know. But I just want to briefly mention that I actually came to Hawaii and got my license here. While I was in Atlanta, I had to do like the pre-coursework of um, getting my fingerprints done at Fieldprint. It's like a certified live scan that will send your fingerprints to Hawaii electronically. And I also did a couple other things before leaving, but that's another video. All in all, just know that Hawaii's a walkover state, meaning you can come here and get your license in a few days and work temporarily while they process the permanent license. Whew. Okay. That was a lot. I think that's all for now. <laughs> I really just want to make this video to kind of catch you guys up to speed, what's been going on. You know, I'm in Hawaii now. It's amazing. I definitely want to tell you guys in depth about, you know, the licensure process, kind of some things you should know before you come out here. And yeah, man, what to pack? Like, I got one bag. People are like, oh, you got one bag? How did you do that? Like, it's pretty simple. I have like five outfits and I wear them every day. Besides the three pair of scrubs I brought. Yeah, I only brought three. So I'm washing like every week or whatever, but it's okay. Yeah, guys, that's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry if this video is a little um, <clears throat> lengthy and loud. Thanks to the drilling currently going on and where I'm staying. But I will be back. Now that you're kind of caught up to speed, you know what's going on, we can talk about the now. That'll be my next video probably next week. For now, I'm probably going to go to the beach. Um, or take these twist out. I don't know if you guys see these. Just real quick, I came to Hawaii with these things in. And you guys, I just found a hair place with this type of hair on this island and I'm so excited because I'm about to take these out so it's the last time you're gonna see these in this video. Might do a mini tutorial before I remove them so if you guys want to see that let me know and I'll post it but if not then real passion twist. You were awesome but it's time for a new okay. But okay guys until next week Ailey out. Alright now.